are going to fire the star 31. That's the safe and firing button. Ah. You don't play with it. You never put the fire out to shoot. Don't panic, ah. don't panic. Ah. I would like to achieve the full score. It's uh, sort of a boosting point to my friends. Oh. Man down, man down, man down. OK, faster. Eric. Hey! What are you doing? One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. You are address me as in check. Do it! One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Okay, go! The COVID-19 pandemic is making this slightly harder. I always believe I'm here to train Singaporeans first. Why? Why you never highlight earlier? Soldiers second. What I'm hoping to achieve is a better result than my first IPD. So far, it has taken us over three hours. And so, it is quite tiring. Everything needs to be perfect for our recruits. This is our story. Our story of every Singaporean son. Again, everyone pay attention now. Today I'm going to explain to you the different parts of the rifle. Right above the trigger where you extend your index finger fully out, you all see a triangle. That's the safe and firing button. Ah. So when the safe button pops out on the right side, it's safe. Then when you switch it to the other side, it's on firing mode. You don't play with it. Make sure your weapon is safe so you cannot fire. Is that clear? Your finger always off the trigger. Understand? OK? The only time you trigger is when the command is given, watch and shoot. In every batch of recruits, there's Always uh, a recruit that is not a shooter. Yeah, I say again, do not follow through. Okay, pull it behind, then I'll try release. Understand? It is not that they are bad firers, but they just need a longer time to focus and to gain the confidence in shooting. Do not put your finger in. Why? Because your finger can get caught and you can be injured. We are going to demonstrate to them how to use the rifle safely and effectively. These good habits will become muscle memory. Hello, receiver. Can you guys try and strip your weapon? Take your own time, okay? Understand all the functions, okay? Let's go. Uh, first three. Can I have the first three? Come, street weapon. Three, two, one, let's go. Weapon strip. Good. Assemble weapon. Done already. You stand up with your rifle. Weapon assemble. Can take a deep breath. Your time starts now. Something up on the back. Okay, do step by step. Relax. Ting, ting. Safety mechanism working. Firing mechanism working. Trail working. Assemble. Assemble. Okay, good. I, I tell you guys already how many times, wherever you are with your rifle, yes, always point to the ground, huh? 45 degrees to the ground. Okay, again? Yes, Here you come. Thank you. So we'll do the four magazines of zeroing. 
followed by the day practice, the four, foxhole, then prone, then squatting, kneeling, and then the standing shoulder at the 50 meters. So that's why lean forward. So it won't make you fall down. Rifle to your body. Do you need like that one? Okay, I think my body wasn't well calibrated with the weapon yet. This is my first time handling a weapon actually. Other than using nerf guns, my experience with rifles and weapons is very limited. Chicken wing close. Take aim. Why you hold your rifle need to like that one? My biggest struggle was actually um, getting used to the weapon of how to get comfortable with handling an actual gun. And then the adrenaline rush was there as well. My heart was racing and I was very shaky at first. Guns, watch, and shoot. Don't take your own sweet time. You never put to fire how to shoot. When Sergeant Fauzi came to me and said I didn't even fire, I just felt so done with myself. <laughs> Your finger is always on the trigger guard and it's near the firing button. So you press the firing button and you say firing before you actually continue. So I, it was really bad that I missed that cue. Most recruits, their motivation is to basically end up in command school, OCS or SAS. Watch and shoot. My motivation is to become a better marksman so I can get into sniping in, in the infantry vocation. I feel confident that I should be able to land my shots on target and also execute the IA drills. Inside my head, I was like, oh my god, why did you make such a careless error? Okay, remove magazine. Remove magazine. Yes, Sunday. Yeah. Live firing days are a little bit more nerve-wracking. This is the first time firing with live ammunition. Going into the training, I'm feeling excited and I'm kind of looking forward to the live firing event. And hopefully I can get marksman. I am pretty confident because last night I tried to memorize most of my IA drills and my stoppages. And if that should occur, I know what to do. In terms of actually firing around, uh, we'll see when the time comes. Good morning, Dragon. Okay, welcome back to Tepung, 100 meter range two. We are going to fire the Star 21. Today here they are, finally, to fire the weapon. This is to ensure that they have a good experience of uh, knowing the weapon capabilities. Any point of time, you don't know what to do. Your mind is blocked, what do you do? Put to save, ask for help. Understood? So any point of time, you don't know what to do, what do you do? Put to save, ask for help. 
As commanders, our biggest fear is our recruits have a negligence discharge of the round, which can cost lives. Let's have a safe live firing, okay? Yes, Chief. Okay, without further ado, I will transit over to the main round drill. Okay, can you help it down? Man down, man down, man down, man down, man down. Also, no stuff. Man down, man down, man down. You point to the direction. Who do you call for? Eric. Eric. Give them a round of applause. Now, first row, break bell. I know the conditions will be different between the simulation and the live fire event, but I think I'll be able to adapt quite quickly. I certainly believe that I will become a marksman on the live firing event. Hey, open your eyes when I'm talking to you. I want full attention. Don't fool around. Demonstration is going to show you how you draw ammunition, where and where you form up. Over here, let's go. As I am walking up to get the ammo and I see the real rounds within the magazine, my heart is just beating and my adrenaline is pumping through my veins. I'm extremely scared and stressed because I'm holding on to a weapon that can actually cause real damage. Okay, come. Next thing, your rifle. Next thing, your rifle. Rifle, don't bring out. Understand? Sling your weapon. Hey, 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 hey. Adjust, lah. Adjust. Put your weapon like that. That's all. Understand? Now take and sling. Next sling. Next, next, next. Aim, aim, aim. Adjust yourself. Your head don't need to tilt until like that. Huh? Aim. Aim properly. Just aim. Okay? Ready for the practice. Hey! What are you doing? Bouncy! Hey, I teach you already, right? Always point your rifle for it. Understand? Flash, flash. When it comes to safety, if I have to crack the whip, I will. Come, when loading, tilt your weapon to the left, that's all. Hey, hello. I get very annoyed when I see my recruits leaving the finger in the trigger guard. Because it is a very bad habit. Your finger always out of the trigger guard until it's fire. You understand? Yes, sir. Anything can happen. They could just squeeze a trigger and one life could be lost. Fighters, end of practice. Unload. Okay, unload, unload, unload. Inspection port arms. Clear. Your fundamental is good. Maintain. Come, show me how you load. Yes. Can, can, ah, can, ah. Don't raise it, ah. No, why not? Why? Because it might accidentally load around into the chamber. Then where will it fire? Fire. The ceiling. Hey, the ceiling will ricochet the bullet. Okay? Yeah, most of my fear actually came from the fact that it was a very foreign experience. I messed up because I I was just not in the right state of mind. Which won't happen again. Okay, come gentlemen, listen up. A lot of you when you go inside, you start to shiver. Go into the poke sole or go into prone position, everything starts to shiver. 
Okay, I used to be like y'all also, ah. Okay, how to overcome this? Just go in there, breathe in, breathe out. The range is very safe. Follow the command. Every command, one command, one. Outstanding. You can do it. Understand? So your scoop like shake. Because I I nervous, ma. So like. Everything I do, right, all like forget, 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 like lose food. Nah, only like the fourth day, I like, I relax myself. The sound like less uh, okay. impactful than sound. No, nah, I think after, after now, your, your ear all go, go deaf with you. I would like to achieve the full score because only a small number of people have achieved that in the past. Basically, it's the status of achievement. If I'm good in my marksmanship, then I should be able to get it quite easily. And also, it's a, sort of a boasting point to my friends. Eh? Oh, okay, shoot. Very good. There are three main targets. The figure 11, the figure 12, and finally, figure 15. This is my first time seeing the figure 15 target at 100 meters through my scope and it was a lot more smaller than I thought. Okay, come, let's go. Squatting on the link. Remember, center of the target, nothing goes wrong. Very good, very good. Okay, once done, go on your rifle, keep your magazine, get ready to trail arms. Okay, come, walk. Walk faster, faster. The hardest thing for me is consistency. Bend your right knee, yes. Lean forward. Very good, maintain. Very good, very good, maintain, maintain. Can't take a knee. Keep your magazine where your mask turn this side. I don't need all my recruits to be marksmen. But I hope all of them can pass this package. Pick up magazine for the left side. Align your shell to the target. One ready. Don't panic, ah. Don't panic, ah. Yeah. Better way. Better is aiming too high. The target is there, but it's too high. We have to bring it down. Okay. You're aiming too high, ah. Make sure your elbow rests on the floor. The head rests on the stem deck. Don't rush, ah. Aim lower. Aim properly first. Make sure your scope align properly. Make sure your elbow on the floor. Eh? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Confident, then go. Last one, maintain. Very good. I must give them the assurance that they are doing well and they anything, the lane safety or the chamber safety is there for them. Very good. One clear. I did better than my day shoot, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, because I think although it was dark and I did face difficulties with the vision, yeah. I understood the flow of things better. I feel like the night shot was good for me also. It gave me more confidence. But I think marksmanship will still be a bit difficult for me. Uh. Same. Uh. I missed four shots in the morning shoot, so I can only afford to miss two this time. Safety check. Ready. 
Your magazines, come on. Ready, ready, uh, come. Well. Keep your magazines, keep. The most difficult thing is to endure the, the pain, I guess, of the different positions in order to keep your gun steady and to make your shot as accurate as possible. Just now, your magazine a bit too close to the ground. There goes my perfect score. Let's go, let's go. I think one of the best parts about National Service is getting an opportunity to fire a live weapon, and I will always cherish this opportunity in my days to come. In NS, the objective is for all NS men to be able to handle the weapon correctly and properly, right? So whether or not I get marksmanship or not, I feel that the most important thing is if I can safely handle a weapon 